Hey guys, sorry for being gone for the past week. I was busy with school and finals and all that stuff and junk. So, uh, spring break's finally here, so I decided I should, uh, you know, probably put a video up before I lose all you guys, you know. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, in today's Visual Basic tutorial, uh, I'll be teaching you how to use a picture box. And pretty much what a picture box is, well, the title is kind of self-explanatory, but it really, it's really just so you can put a picture into your form. And I'll use the Tuzum Effect logo as an example. So what you're going to want to look for here in the toolbox is, uh, of course, the picture box tool. So just go ahead and make it how big you want the picture to be. You can always adjust it later. So you can see you have this little box here. And then in your properties box, you'll find where it says image. Click this little button right here. Then go to a local resource and click import. That'll open this file browsing window. And then you're going to want to go find the picture file. And it only supports uh, GIF, G JPG, JPEG, BMP, .wmf, and uh, .png files. So you can't use, uh, you know, TIFF or uh, any of those kind of files. So once you have your picture here, go ahead and click on it, then click Open, then click OK again. And you can see it is now in your form. So you can go ahead and move this to wherever you want. And you know, picture boxes just really add uh, some more detail in your Visual Basic project, so it's not so bland and boring with just uh, the the gray background, you know. Now, this doesn't require any coding unless you want it to appear when you click a button. So uh, I might do a, a tutorial on that later. But for now, this has just been a tutorial on how to use a picture box. And stay tuned for the next tutorial, which will probably be up uh, maybe in a day or two. All right, see you guys later.